Hey everybody, it's Ken. It's been a while since the last video, and I've been struggling a bit with a number of things. Um, one of the things that ketamine has not helped me with is that feeling of the, what people normally, I guess, call the Sundays, right? Um, because those still hit me really hard. And I, I've tried lots of the techniques that I've been learning over the last few years of therapy. And, and there are times when it still just hits me like a, a ton of bricks. And the thing is, I've been having trouble with mindfulness and not in the whole, you know, wanting to meditate kind of thing. I, I do meditate and, and that in and of itself is, is fine. And I appreciate it for what it is, but there's so much uh, out there on the internet about <clears throat> mindfulness almost as doctrine. And it's been really aggravating, which is the opposite of the way I want to feel. <laughs> See, I'm not a not a spiritual person. I've been through all of the, <clears throat> not all of them, obviously, but I've been through my religious phase. I was Pentecostal for a, a while, and then I was... <clears throat> Southern Baptist for a while until they kicked me out because I was part of the Masonic Lodge. So I I don't believe in any of that. I that doesn't bring me comfort. It's not anything I can wrap my head around or anything that I agree with. Um, <clears throat> organized religion by and large is something I I don't have any interest in or, or belief in or agreement with. Um, but the thing that I was hoping to find with <clears throat> things like Zen and you know, Zen Buddhism or, or um, Tao would be um, some sort of enlightenment about the, the message, you know, the meaning of why I'm here, why we're all here. <clears throat> and I've been listening to a lot of Alan Watts because his stuff is all over YouTube, which is great. I love living in the age of, of technology and, and information where I can find and listen to and read his stuff quite easily. But every time I do, I am left with a feeling of intense frustration because it just doesn't make sense to me. And it seems so contradictory to where you're supposed to embrace, you know, Wu Wei uh, doing, you know, doing nothing <clears throat> or, uh, you know, action through inaction, and everything about it is such a contradiction that it just, my brain starts to shut down, and I get a foggy feeling in my head, and I just feel frustrated, and and then I start to feel just weepy and almost angry because it, what is what does it even mean all of that all of the the Taoist principles and Zen is where well if you if you think you know what it is then you don't know what it is but if you if you don't know what it is then you know what it is. what does that even mean that it feels like such it's the flip side of the flawed logic of well if you just had enough faith you could get out of that wheelchair 
type of thinking. So it doesn't end up bringing me any peace. It just ends up frustrating, uh, flummoxing me, bewildering me, and making me feel stupid. And and upset, and uh, it's the same feeling I used to get when I was a kid trying to learn fractions, specifically, and my dad would try to help me learn fractions, because I love my dad, and we are very close now, but we didn't exactly relate to each other when I was a kid, and he is many things, but I don't think he's a particularly good teacher because he doesn't have a lot of patience. And I inherited that from him because I don't feel like I am a good teacher either because I also don't have a lot of patience. I especially don't have a lot of patience with myself, which is problematic. Um, but yeah, I would get that that feeling of frustration where I just wanted to like pound on the, the coffee table because for dad, math has always come very easily. And so he would start getting frustrated because I wasn't catching on easily because I, I math does not come easy for me. And so he'd be getting frustrated and then I would be getting angry with him uh, because he was getting frustrated with me, and I, and I would I would get that same feeling. It's weird. It's that same feeling where like my mind starts to just everything gets fuzzy, right? And I can't think straight, and I just um. So yeah, and I've been going back and forth, kind of looking into Zen and and Tao and. Taoism and, and stuff for feels like years. And I keep coming back to it because I think, well, maybe this time I'll, I'll get it. And, and then I end up being just as frustrated and upset and confused. And uh, So yeah, so that's, that has not been going great. So I'm going to pull back from that since it's not since I am unable to decode it I, and it's just frustrating me, I'm just going to pull back from it and just continue on with, you know, doing deep breathing exercises and doing, you know, just a meditation for itself, for its physical um, benefits of which I, I can feel and which actually do help, but but my search for meaning continues. I've been noticing a lot of uh, highs and, and lows recently. Recently, and even more lows. This week has been bad. It is the uh, 25th of October. I've been going to uh, ketamine treatments now for three years this month, which is weird. It, it doesn't seem like it should be that long. Um, and I have no doubt that this wanting to weep feeling that I, that I have right this minute as I'm recording this video, and I've had way too much of this week, um, that would be ever so much worse <laughs> if I was not on, you know, doing the ketamine treatments and uh, and continuing with, you know, my sertraline and uh, the butrin. It's still been a rough month. <clears throat> my father is having health issues. And uh, that's stressful because he's getting older and mom is getting older. I'm getting older, which I understand that getting older is 
better than the alternative. <laughs> but uh, age and mortality are very much in my thoughts. Karina, you know, she has Crohn's. That doesn't improve with age. Charity has an ostomy uh, as a result of that emergency surgery to save her life three years ago. And so, yeah, I've just been feeling um, lost a little this week, this month, <laughs> this year maybe even. And I'm not like this all the time, which is great because <laughs> the last time I was, like this all of the time, I was literally just on the couch, curled up in a ball, crying, and uh, taking medication to basically knock me out because I was useless and I couldn't stop crying. Like seriously, could not stop. <laughs> could not stop crying. Um, And I don't know, I try to use my tools to, you know, reframe my, uh, my perspective on life and things and try to, you know, distract myself. Um, you know, I've got the, there's the 20 minute rule, you know, where you do things for 20 minutes. And then if that's not working, you shift to something else, but it, it gives you a time limit so that you can not feel overwhelmed at the thought of doing something, anything. Uh, I have the two minute rule because sometimes that's, that's all I can manage. I don't have faith in systems the way I used to when I was a kid, when I was younger. And Definitely don't have faith in, you know, capitalism. <laughs> uh, and everything's getting more expensive. And wages don't go up, but the price of everything else does. And there are far too many people in this world that are okay with that. I think that people such as you maybe and me who are struggling and upset by the fact that wages haven't kept pace with you know the cost of everything in the world, that we're somehow deserving of our suffering and pain and that we're just whiny for wanting things to be wanting there to be equanimity in life, wanting for life to be an even playing field, and, and so that has made me very sad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am floundering now. I don't know why I'm making this video. Uh, so what I'm saying badly here is that I feel a responsibility to show people that no matter how good some medications can be and no matter how good therapy can be and how many tools you can learn to help you through the bad times, that there are still going to be bad times and that you're still going to have times where you feel that, uh, that bit of hopelessness and, uh, and that feeling of being overwhelmed and the sadness. There is a, a doctor here on YouTube that recently came out with a video that completely 
describes my life. And I felt more seen than I ever have after watching that video. And I, God, I can't remember his name, but I will, you know, edit it in here somewhere and I will put a link down to that video because he nailed it. And basically to condense it, I'm definitely not on the same level as everyone else where everyone else, their default is um, mostly optimistic and content. I am, I'm somewhere down here. So when I'm starting with a baseline that's already lower than everyone else, when those lows hit for normal people, they'll come down to this level. For me, I sink dangerously close to the bad place. <laughs> um, so yeah, go check out that video. It's amazing. And maybe, maybe that'll apply to some of you and it'll, it'll make you feel a little better because you feel seen. I guess I'm going to try I don't know what I'm going to try. I don't know what I'm going to try to do. I don't know if, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what to make videos about anymore. <laughs> Things I'm excited for. Um, we got advent calendars again this year because that's our tradition. And so I'm really going to be excited when we get to start our advent calendars. But first we've got Thanksgiving, that's okay. It's not my favorite holiday, but it's there. Um, I love this time of year. I love our Halloween tree. I'll put a little video clip of our Halloween tree in here real quick because it's great. I love our everyday holiday tree that we have. So let me know what you're happy about. Let me know what you're excited for this time of year. As a pink pumpkin spice lattes, because I definitely like those, and I know that makes me a basic bitch, but uh, I do like my pumpkin spice lattes. My favorite, though, is the praline chestnut latte. Uh, that hasn't come back around yet, I don't think. Um, but yeah, please let me know what's inspiring you. What are you excited about? What uh, what gets you through the days? So it would be nice to hear what everyone else is, is doing. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Might be tomorrow. Might be another month from now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and, and obviously, for those of you who know me, IRL, um, Green Online's anniversary was this year, and that's always a good time. And that was definitely the high point um, of October, which is now almost over. But uh, yeah, anniversary uh, week was great. That was, that was the best I felt. Love celebrating my anniversary with her. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. <laughs> Don't know what the point of any of this was. I will see you soon. Take care.